Hey guys, welcome back to Flip and Customize, and today we're in the powder coat booth again. Powder coating these OEM Chevy three quarter ton wheels. Let's get after it. So these came into the shop. Um, we've obviously already put them through the whole blast uh, process, but they were very heavily um, in Chevy fashion. The clear coat was all peeled off. The customer tried to do like a soda blast. It didn't really work. So he brought them to us and we're gonna go ahead and well, we blasted them. Then we're gonna get them into an outgas primer and then into a chrome and then a clear over that. Now, when I say chrome, it's powder coat chrome. So it's, it's as chrome as you can get with powder coat. And a customer came and saw these other parts and this is the look they wanted. So you just gotta be aware or careful when you say chrome to people. Um, when you're using powder coat because to me it's it looks a little bit more like polished aluminum It's still a great look, but they just you need to be aware of that That's all and with the chrome powder you have to go with a clear coat. So this is actually a three-step uh, Process with powder coating with these wheels. So we've already blasted them We've already outgassed them and if you don't know what outgassing is it's basically cooking them in the oven at 450 so if you're above your cure temperature for about two hours um, to allow any of those impurities to come out of the wheel itself. Now that that's done, the wheels are cool because that was a few days ago, we can blow them off and we can start our outgassing primer. <coughs> Excuse me. So outgassing primer right here at Columbia Coatings, this is what we use. Um, you can do multiple coats on this stuff as well. And it's perfect for like used aluminum parts. So we're going to get these in at least one coat, one good heavy coat, see what they look like. Maybe we'll do another coat. It's actually a weird pinkish color. Um, and it's got a different process as, as far as how you apply it. You're actually gonna warm the wheel a little bit and I'll go over all that. All right, so I misspoke. You can apply this cold or warm. I prefer it warm, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna heat the wheels up a little bit. And then as far as the actual cure time, it's in the oven for as to consider the thicker part. So 30 minutes total time in the oven at 400 degrees with the primer. That's not part temperature, that's total time in the oven. So it's basically you're just flowing out the part and taking it out. You're not fully curing the primer. So I'm gonna get these on the rack in the oven, warm them up so we can lay the primer on. All right guys, so I got one of the wheels into the outgas primer. As you can see, it is pink. And this is gonna go into the oven at 400 degrees for a total time of 20 minutes into the oven. Um, so we are about ready to do that. I still got the other three wheels to coat. It takes a fair amount. I go on it heavy, especially in some of the pitted areas to help fill and blend those areas out. Um, so next step, once these things flow out, we gotta let them cool again and we're, we're gonna go to the chrome. Here we go. 20 minutes later. Okay, so this is the powder we're using for the chrome. This is Chroma Chrome for Columbia Coatings and it's by far my favorite chrome to apply. Um, basically you apply this and then on a lot of powders, if you're gonna do a clear, you don't do a full cure. On the chrome, you do a full cure because it gets you the shiniest surface you can possibly get. Um, so it's a little different on, as far as the chrome goes. And then we're gonna go ahead with the wheel clear over that to finish them off. All right, fresh out of the oven is our primer. As you can see, it's highly gloss because it's not fully cured. And this stuff has like a translucent -y pinkish color to it. It's kind of weird. Um, I like using the gray epoxy primer better, but outgassing primer is the primer of choice on like a used set of uh, wheels that would beat up like these. Um, so we're gonna let these things fully, fully cool down. Then we're gonna apply the chrome. We're gonna put them back in at 350, because I believe that's the chrome temperature. And they're gonna run in there at part temperature. Now part temperature, I mean full cure, for 15 minutes. That's gonna take longer than just a timed uh, cook like, like we just did. So once they cool, we'll throw the chrome on it. All right guys, when the chrome gets applied, the chrome powder is actually gonna look a lot like gray primer. It doesn't really do a whole lot until it flows out and it cures out. So don't expect chrome until we take it out of the oven. Good old coating. Like I said, if you apply this, it looks a lot like primer. But when it comes out, it looks nothing like this. So bear with me. From that section, and now we're ready for the oven. All right, guys, here they are. The Chroma Chrome from Columbia is out of the oven. Isn't that nice stuff? It's beautiful. Actually, they came out really nice. There's some pitting on the wheels, and we did a heavy layer of uh, primer on there, but any place that was really heavy pitting, that's not gonna go away. But overall, look at the wheel. Very happy with that. Now, you need a clear. So we're gonna be spraying the wheel clear on these. This is what they recommend for that Chrome on the wheels. 
Now that's a 17 minute at 350. So we got to get these into the whole process again and spray them and powder them. It will dull the chrome shininess a little bit, but it's necessary, you got to do it. So that's the next and final step. Everybody's like, well, what are you doing with this stuff in the oven curing? You're just sitting there doing nothing? Day drinking. I think not. <laughs> All right guys, on to the clear. So it seems kind of weird that we're just kind of like putting another layer on these wheels. But like I said, with the chrome wheels, this is necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and get these things covered up so they're going to be all nice and white. In the oven one more final time and you're able to see the results. Hey Steve, did the customer want white wheels? I hope so. <laughs> Alright guys, here they are. Completely done, out of the oven. That's outgas primer, that's the chroma chrome, and then the final touch is the wheel clear. And uh, they still look pretty rad, honestly. The clear does look dull them out of touch, but all in all, this wheels came out nice. He's gonna really love these. Um, I'm happy with them. Any place you have pitting or, or rough aluminum, you're gonna see that no matter what you put on them. Um, but the wheels themselves, when you, if, I'll try to drop a picture in here and show you what they looked like when they came in because they are miles ahead of what they were and he's gonna be super happy. I'm happy with them, that's, that's a nice looking wheel. So that is the Columbia Chroma Chrome uh, powder coat with the wheel clear over it. Uh, we use mostly Columbia coatings powders here. We'll try some other stuff here and there, but we've had great luck with their products. Um, and that's just the way it is. I'm gonna tell you how it is and I like their stuff, so. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with us. Uh, it's been a nice little powder coating video. Scott Flip and Customize. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are kind of so they put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with the